How's it going? Welcome to Get Climate Gym. The purpose of this video is to orient you with the necessary policies and procedures of this facility. After watching the video, all climbers must check in at the front desk, sign the visitor agreement form, and review the facility rules. You must have no mental or physical conditions that might create a risk for yourself or others. All visitors 14 years of age and younger must be supervised by an adult and adhere to our youth policies. It's important to know that there are some inherent risks to climbing. Make sure to review our posted warning signs located throughout the facility. Before you start climbing, remove anything that can get in the way while climbing. This includes any large jewelry, rings, watches, phones, or anything in your pockets. Please do not leave your belongings on the walkways or on the climbing pads as they can be a hazard for people walking or climbers falling onto the pads. Regular street shoes or bare feet are not allowed on the climbing walls at any time. While climbing, please wear appropriate climbing shoes. Food and drinks are not allowed anywhere near the padded area. Instead, food and drinks are limited to the seating area lounge by the front desk. Remember to place all your trash in trash cans. Understand that holds can spin or break. If you encounter a spinning hold, avoid climbing on it and alert a staff member immediately. Do not try and fix it yourself. It is crucial that you exercise spatial awareness at all times. To put this into practice, we recommend that you look up to make sure you're not walking under a climber already on the wall, look left and look right to make sure your route doesn't interfere with another climber's route, look down to make sure the padded floor is clear of people and objects, anticipate the direction you will drop or be lowered in the event of a fall or completion of a route, and make sure that area is clear. Plan your down climb upon successful completion of the route. We ask that you exit the padding once you finish your route to allow others to climb. The difficulty of our climbing routes are identified by the tag on the route starting hold. We utilize the Yosemite Decimal System for our rope routes and the V scale for our boulder problems. Please refer to the rating scale posted around the gym to identify a route's difficulty and don't hesitate to ask a staff member if you have a question. While bouldering, all falls are ground falls as there is no rope system to potentially catch you. Falling may result in injury, injuries can be severe, and there are many other unforeseen risks involved with bouldering. Bouldering is allowed on the 15-foot boulder walls up until the top edge only. Bouldering is not allowed on the roped areas as the pads are intended for roped climbers. Never top out or climb over the edges of the wall. Let's talk about the purpose and limitations of the padded flooring. Our flooring functions to absorb the impact of the falling climber and is for mitigation measures only. Although the floor is padded, injury can still occur from impact. There is no guarantee of safety while bouldering. The tenser you are, the more vulnerable you are to injury. In the inevitable impact of a fall, prepare your body while relaxing. First, widen your feet and bend the knees. You will want to resist the urge to stick your landing or lock your knees as this can increase your chance of injury. Second, tuck in your head and limbs close to your body. You want to avoid extending your arms to reach the floor. Lastly, roll onto your back or onto your side. This will disperse the energy of the fall into the pads. Spotting is not provided or required. The purpose of a spotter is to direct a falling climber to a landing zone while protecting their head and neck. A spotter should also guard the landing zones from obstructions and other climbers. There are hazards to spotters as well, including being kicked in the head, hand or finger injuries, and the risk of being fallen on by the climber. Proper spotting technique involves positioning yourself behind the climber, but not directly underneath. Maintain an athletic stance with bent elbows and knees and keep your thumbs towards your palms. If the climber falls, do not attempt to catch the climber. Spot someone who is of equal or smaller height and weight. Do not spot someone who is significantly larger than you. Spotting may be appropriate during potentially dangerous or difficult climbing moves. However, there is no guarantee of safety when a spotter is involved for the climber or the spotter. When you finish a route, it is best to climb down using the designated down climb holds or any other easier holds rather than jumping. This can decrease the chance of injury. As a reminder, all climbing is dangerous and there is no guarantee of safety. If you do decide to drop off, please remember to use proper falling technique. When climbing on ropes and auto belays, you must be certified to use the belay. You must be checked off by a staff member before using the auto belays without supervision. In order to top rope belay or lead climb or lead belay, you must pass a test to become certified. We offer a separate orientation on how to top rope belay as well as a lead climbing class. Ask one of our staff for more details.
Remember, climbing is dangerous and involves inherent and other risks that can lead to injury. It is your responsibility to use the equipment properly and seek qualified instruction. Make informed choices and be aware at all times. If you have any questions about the risks, your responsibilities, or anything else about climbing in this facility, please ask a friendly Gecko Climbing Gym staff. Thanks for taking your time to watch this video and have a great time here at Gecko Climbing. Be humble, be courteous, and be kind. And most of all, keep a positive attitude while climbing.